Welcome to another episode of Low Budget Photography. Today we're going to do an HDR castle, uh, a Dark Ages castle. Let's start. Open up Lightroom, go to File, Import Photos and Videos. Okay, these are the three files that I will upload to my website www.lowbudgetphotography.com Okay, let's click on import. Okay, then select all three and go develop. Okay, you see this is the normal the normal picture, normal exposure. This is the underexposed. It is dark and the overexposed. Here. Okay, let's go back to the normal exposed picture. Let's pro process it. So let's put down the highlights, open up a little bit the shadows, not too much. About 50. Do the white points. Okay, do your black points and you do this by holding down the Alt key and with left mouse click you slide it left or right. Okay. Uh, we want to do uh, HDR looking um, castle. So it have to be like in a video game. Let's boost up the clarity. Okay, about 60. Add a little bit of vibrance and lower the saturation about 24. Okay, and then do the sharpening about 80. The luminance about the noise is about 20. Enable profile corrections and remove chromatic aberrations. So make sure all three are selected and click this button sync uh, check all and synchronize okay let's go back to the underexposed picture and here you got to, look, uh, to add more noise reduction because it is uh, much of noise so 50 Okay, now select all three of them. Hold down the control key and select with the mouse one and another. Go on uh, right click and go to edit in. Okay, go to export in Photomatics Pro. Okay, and it was taken on a tripod, these pictures. Reduce on the underexposed image only. Reduce a little bit more noise. Reduce chromatic aberrations. Okay. Automatically re import to Lightroom. Let's choose a custom name HDR Castle. Okay, TIFF 16 bit. It's okay. And go and export. Okay, now we're in Photomatics. Um, I got this preset HDR Vintage Old. Do you have here uh, more? These are my presets. You have here the built in presets. You have default, balanced, photographic. You can choose whatever you want, what works for you. But I'm going to go to this my presets. 
um, I call it HDR Vintage Old Top. Uh, you can download this preset at my website at www.lowbudgetphotography.com. Okay, for this preset, you go to the tone mapping, details and chancer, strength to 100, color saturation 46, tone compression 4, detail contrast 10, lighting, lighting adjustments natural. Okay, and lower the gamma to 1.18, temperature 5.5, height advanced advanced options, micro smoothing at two. Okay, now go to save and re-import. <coughs> when it doesn't come here, then you just right click, then go to folder in library. And here you see the last photo in the folder, it is gray. And click on it go to develop okay now oh, here it is oh hdr castle looks kind of dreamy but there is the contrast you boost the contrast okay about 50 look at this looks so cool a little bit of blue of my tint. Okay. Now we can double process the picture. Let's see the highlights down. Shadows not so much. Let's do the white points again. Hold down the Alt Alt key. Okay. Black points. Hold down the Alt key and go to the left. Okay. I want maybe the exposure a little bit up. Okay. Okay, it looks fine. Let's see the clarity. Okay, too much. A bit of vibrance saturation. Okay. Now go to the hue and saturation and Let's see what happens if we lower the greens, lower the aqua, lower the blues, boost the yellows, boost the orange, and boost the reds, leave the purple and magenta. Okay, detail side. I think we don't need to do anything. Noise reduction. Then go. Up. Let's do the post crop vignetting. Okay. Now the midpoint a little bit up. Okay. More looks really grunge, grungy looking. Okay, now again remove the chromatic aberration and I will profile correction. Right click and edit in Adobe Photoshop CC. Edit a copy with Lightroom adjustments. And here is a plugin called. Topaz Labs, Topaz Dino S5. Okay, here is our picture. Select the filter. Topaz Labs, Topaz Dino S5. You can download it from their website, from Topaz Labs. I think you got a 30 days trial. Uh, if you want, you can buy it, of course. So let's see the overall strength about. 35. Let's see the one on one picture. Okay. That's not. That's a little bit, but not much. Let's do it about 50. Okay, looks better. 
go to 100 okay this is the effect we want okay I'll reduce the blur about 40 recover some detail about 10 okay. add a little bit of grain click OK now the plugin is processing the image ok this looks very cool just click uh, close ok here is the here is the final here is the final result click on close yes I'm saving you can exit Photoshop now it is loading the picture in okay here it is okay we can remove some chromatic aberrations more we can process it again if we want add a little bit of sharpening to it but uh, i want it a bit blurry but it'd be a uh, dark ages castle ruins really really looks good to me let's just see one other thing if we can put the radial filter to it okay let's put the radial filter here duplicate it put one here so that the ruins really stand out duplicate again put one here make it a little bit bigger duplicate it put it here make it smaller duplicate it again here one duplicate this one here on the old church duplicate it a little bit of here Duplicate it again. Let's put some here. Okay, let's make this bigger. Smaller. Okay, let's see this one. Let's see. Okay, okay. Leave it at exposure. Ninety-two. I'm looking at the picture but I'm still not convinced it is not the effect I wanted I want it to be a little bit more dreamy so let's process process this picture again here is the new file we just received from Photoshop the edit the TIFF file so let's boost the contrast about 60 oh yeah now let's add a little bit of vibrance, about 30, 30, okay, 33. Now let's go to the HLS color, Q saturation, luminance under saturation. Take out the yellow. Add some green. And add some blue okay that's it now this is the final result it's the dreamy mid-age castle from the dark ages and now it's it's a really cool picture and if you want a 16 to 9 picture just crop it you can go here where the aspect ratio is So now you got a 16 to 9 beautiful picture for your desktop. <laughs> Thanks for watching. All files needed on my webpage. Www
www.robotphotography.com. Thanks for watching and bye.